Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Elite Extra Edition Baseball. 10 box random team break number one. 80 autos in here. Prospects like this kid right here, Heston Kirkstad. Should be pretty nice. There are 31 all cards ship, 31 spots. It's the 30 baseball teams plus a non-assigned spot. We're gonna go by this checklist provided by groupbreakchecklist.com. It's in the chat if you're watching live, or you can go to groupbreakchecklist.com and check it out. So that's the checklist we're going to go by, and there's the non-assigned. So a lot of autos in this non-assigned area right here, which is pretty cool. All right, so big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. So there's all 30 teams plus the non-assigned right here on the bottom. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a two, seven times for names and teams. So one, two, three four, five, six, and once more. Yep, seventh and final time. After seven, we got Chris down to Chris. Five and two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Blue Jays down to the Marlins. The Fish, Miami. All right, so Chris has the Blue Jays. Scott with the Mariners. Matthew with the Yankees. Brett, you got my Dodgers. Dean with the Twins. Arthur with the White Sox. John with the Braves. Chris with the Red Sox. Matthew with the Brew Crew. Pat, you have the non-assigned group right here. Jason with the Mets. Travis with the Rangers. Andre with the A's. Thomas with the Giants. Chris with the Reds. Adam with the Pirates. Ryan with the Cardinals. Brian with the Strohs. Adam with the Royals. Dean with the Tigers. Joshua with the Padres. Mike with the Rockies. Ian with the Nats. Patrick with the Phillies. Adam with the Indians. Jeff with the Angels and the Diamondbacks. Mike with the Rays. TJ with the O's. Heston Kirkstad possibilities. Brian with the Cubs and Chris with the Miami Marlins. So let's get all this on one screen right here. No, it doesn't want to get on one screen. Oh, because there's 31. Forgot about that. There you go. Sort this by column B by team. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, allow people some time to trade. Or maybe, ex uh, maybe examine that checklist right there, see what their possibilities are, and maybe make some educated trades. When we come back, and I'm going to go run and grab the case. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. Brew crew up for trade. Be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in 2020 Panini Elite Extra Edition Baseball. Ten box, random team number one on the sixth. Thanks, everyone, for... Getting into the action, really appreciate it. Now this is a 20 box case right here. So let's pop this baby open and let's see which 10 boxes we're gonna do. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten on the right side, two, four, six, eight, ten on the left side. You can also see the box is on the top of your screen right there. We're gonna select a die. We'll use that Dodger blue die right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three. So we're gonna do the left side right here, this side we will save for next time. All 
right, so we'll put these X's right on the sides of these boxes so we know that they're from the same case. The second half will be on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Can I lift all these without spilling? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got inside here, ladies and gentlemen. I think this break actually might go a little bit more quickly than I thought. It might be it might be ahead of schedule here. Eight autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. We got five and five, five cards, five packs. A lot of fun stuff here. Good luck everybody. A lot of prospect hunting, so a lot of this stuff is just kind of kind of get it put it in the back of a drawer and see see what these players end up becoming and all card ship as well So all these numbered cards will will sleeve and top load a little bit later. There's Paul Canerco. All time first round materials, Paul Canerco. That'll go to the White Sox. That's for Arthur King. Nice, excellent hitter there. There's Jordan Michael. Is our first autograph. For Chicago, pretty sure he's Chicago Cubs. No? No, well, that's White Sox Jordan Michael. Kind of confusing. Is that right? Oh, I mean, we're going by that checklist anyway. But yeah, he is White Sox. Usually, Panini does a pretty good job at kind of matching the color of the team. All right, got to make that distinction there. Yeah, that Canerco goes to the White Sox too. Um, so both of these are for Arthur King, but it was actually the Dodgers that drafted, as Mike Towers pointing out, and Dodgers that actually drafted uh, Paul Canerco. What did I think they traded him for? And then Burl Caraway. This guy. This this one's a Cub. Who did, who did they trade Canerco for? I think like a closer maybe. I think they were in need of a closer. And I guess they didn't think that Canerco would turn out to be the player he became. Uh, that goes to Brian Croft and the Cubs. And we got a die cut autograph here. That's Gage Workman. 17 out of 26 die cut auto for the Tigers. Dean with Detroit. Another die cut autograph right here. That's Jesse Franklin for the Braves. John McCall with Atlanta. These die cuts can be kind of fragile. There you are, nice. There's Brady Lindsay, Yiddy Cap, Spencer Strider die cut, and a Spencer Torkelson oh relic. This thing was, could be like an RPA in here, but now there's Torkelson, and that'll be for Detroit. Dean has the Tigers. 
There's Hidden Gems, Hunter Green, Autograph. Nice. 10 out of 10 for the Reds. Chris Miller. He's supposed to be pretty good. Chris Miller in Cincinnati. Yes, I think you're right, Michael Sore. I think it was Jeff Shaw. Canerico was traded for like Jeff Shaw, maybe a couple other players went back and forth, but I think that those are the main pieces of the of the deal. There's Jared Jones for the Pirates. That's gonna go to Adam Copperman. I think Jeff Shaw did fine. I think he I think in like the two or three seasons he was with the Dodgers, he had like thirty plus saves each season. He there's Dylan Dingler for Detroit. The Tigers first autograph going to Dean. A couple more numbered cards right here. We got Ben Hernandez for KC. That'll be for Adam. And we got a relic and autograph, future thread signatures, Jesus Sanchez, 4 out of 99 for Miami, Chris Parent. And there's Gavin Stone right there. All right, next box. There are a ton of autographs in here. Six, seven, eight. And nine, nine autographs in this box. On average, we I think we got one more than we were supposed to get. So a little bonus there. I'll do a recap at the end as well. A lot of prospecting. If you enjoy the prospecting, then you're going to enjoy this uh, this break. I think this set, I was first, I think this set gained a little boost in popularity a couple years ago when, when uh, you guys remember when Reese Hoskins for the Phillies was going off? And then everyone was like, where's all of Reese Hoskins stuff? Apparently he didn't make like, I don't think he made any of the Bowman draft stuff or the Bowman baseball sets for some reason. I think he was just kind of really out of the blue, uh, under the radar. Um, but people found out that he was in Elite Extra Edition. An old Elite Extra Edition set. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, that those early cards that were autos found out of the Elite Extra Edition sold for a boatload of money at that time. There's Max Meyer for Miami. That's for Chris. Third overall pick right there. We've got Hobie Harris for Toronto. That'll be for Chris Parent. Toronto's been trying to spend a lot of money, but they, have, they haven't landed anyone yet. They're supposed to be one of the big spenders. Some more numbered cards here. Justin Foscue is supposed to be pretty good. We've got Tyler Keenan for Seattle. Scott with the Mariners. Seattle, I think, accumulating a ton of talent as well. And there's Yoelin Cespedes. Is he is he Yoenis's younger brother or something like that? This probably goes to the non-assigned teams. Yeah, it is. So that all of these like like Dominican Prospect League stuff, or I think there may be some other other different leagues in here, but these will all go to Patrick. Patrick Cologne with that one. Some more die cuts, and J.J. Blade. Miami, Marlins, Chris Parent. Miami definitely ahead of schedule, it seems like. Youngsters like this could be a big part of that team. And we got Jeremy Orocho 
for I'm assuming the Dodgers of the colors, but now my, my faith is shaken in that system. Oh, yeah, he's an angel. He's going to sign. Who's going to sign with the White Sox? Robert Hassel. Tyler Gentry for KC. Going to go to Adam. And a die cut autograph, Austin Hendrick for the Reds to 95. That'll be for Chris. We got a Nick Garcia for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to Adam. And we got an Adonis Medina to 299 jersey and autograph for the Phillies. Patrick Colon with the Fighting Phils. A bit of the Phillies pinstripe on the right side there. Next box. Good luck. I think when we started this break, I think that flawless break was pretty close, so maybe we can finish that off by the end of this break and dive into that. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Maybe it's sold out already. I don't know. I see about, about 16, 17 orders coming in. So we shall see. There's Casey Mize for the Tigers. That'll be for Dean. The Tigers are hoping that Casey Mize is like Verlander, I guess. Spencer Torkelson, like Miguel Cabrera, could be a nice, uh, a nice foundation for them. AJ Block, the Block Party, going to Adam and the Royals. And we got a Jake Etter, prime numbers. Autograph 16. Uh, no, check that 164 out of 220. That will be for Miami. That'll be for Chris Parent. My Matt Subfield saying mine is gonna be okay, but Verlander is first ballot. That's for sure. I mean, even if you get half of J Justin Verlander, Casey Mize would still be a pretty incredible pitcher. Nice Asa Lacey. He's a big prospect for the Royals. Adam Kupperman gets this one. That's pretty nice. This is more on a, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but more on a chrome card format there. There's Christian Roa. In his college gear, Texas A&M gear. And according to the checklist, he is a Cincinnati Red. Now I remember, I remember why this break takes so long. Now Chris Miller with the Reds. I was like, this break shouldn't take. All right, triple relic and autograph, Fabian Lopez to one ninety nine. I'm certain that should be for the, yes, 
for the non-assigned team, not assigned team spot. So that'll be for Patrick. And there is Forrest Whitley for the Astros, 31 out of 49. Prospect materials. Brian Croft with the Strohs. It's on a slightly thicker cardstock here, too. Dylan File for the Brew Crew. It's going to go to Matthew. Matthew B. Maybe a little try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. We got Jake Vogel to 165. I think he is a Dodger, yeah, for the Dodgers. What does that A mean? What do you think that means right here? See that? Maybe a variation of some sort? And there's Jeffrey Rivera for Patrick and the non-assigned teams. All right, next box, four boxes in, four of 10. So yeah, this, I guess this rig will take about an hour. I think uh, these next two boxes, it takes about 30 minutes on this and then another half hour for the other five boxes. And then we'll go through some orders and we'll see what else we can get into on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember, there is a late night tonight, so keep your orders coming. Keep locking in those breaks and we'll, we'll get it all done tonight. Here's Barry Larkin, all-time first-round material, Cincinnati. There's Hyun Lee or Hyun Il Choi, who is a Dodger, I believe. Yeah, he is. There's uh, Juan Then. For Seattle, Scott. Uh, Rainer Duncon, lead extradition, Dominican Prospect League autograph. For Patrick Colon. Here's Barry Larkin, Relic again. This time, this one's numbered out of 99. 16 out of 99. The other one was not numbered. Reds, Chris Miller. We got Tanner Hawk, who I think is a red, maybe? Red team? No, maybe not. Who am I thinking? Is he an A, maybe? No, he's a red sock. That's what it was. And he was like some, some red team. But this is back when he was in college.
All right, so Boston Red Sox, that's Chris Miller with the Red Sox. There's Tyler Brown to 242 for Houston. It's going to be for Brian Croft. There's a Heston Kirkstad on card auto to 220. That goes to TJ and the Baltimore Orioles. Sixty-three out of two twenty. He's got the letter A right there too. And there's Jake Etter for Miami. It's another one for Chris Parent. Fabian Lopez jersey and auto this time for Patrick. 35 out of 149. And there's Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. More top loaders, BRB, top loader break. All right, almost done with the first half. And there's Casey Mize again for Detroit. Dean for the Tigers. There's Isaac Paredes for Detroit as well. Hidden Gems autograph. Another one for Dean. There's a G Juan Bay for Pittsburgh. Adam Kupperman. We got Jeffrey Rivera for Patrick. There's Tyler Dollard. Kale M. S. M. Smoff and Mick Abel. Die cut to 35. And CC Sabathia. I know this guy. Is Bay pretty good? So Matthew Singh. I think Pirates must have a decent scouting system in, in South Korea. 
All-time first-round materials, Cleveland edition going to Adam and the Cleveland Indians. And there's a Bradley Besley, or Beasley, who I think is a cubby. He is. Brian Croft with Chicago Cubs. And there's Hunter Barnhart for Tampa Bay. Oh, a couple autos here. Here's Hunter Barnhart for the Rays. That'll be for Mike G. There you go, TJ. TJ just caught up on the video, saw that Heston. It's pretty nice. And here's another Asa Lacy die cut autograph to 215. 68 out of 215 for Adam and the Royals. Dullard die cut, and there's a Levi Thomas for the Padres. Joshua B. with San Diego. There's Elvin Gonzalez, 95 out of 149. For Patrick. There's Levi Thomas to 499. All right, another big group of autographs here. We're halfway there, folks. Yeah, the international spot is all is is a really good one to get. A ton of names on there, and if uh, if just one or two of them pop, you know, it'd be pretty nice. Got Jackson Miller for the Reds. That'll be for Chris. Camilo Diaz for Patrick in that not assigned spot. I guess most of these would be from the Dominican Prospect League cards. There may be some other guys. Maybe some college card, college players maybe. Dalton Varsho for Arizona. Jeff Dorlack with the Diamondbacks. Jose Rojas, who I'm assuming is an angel, judging from the color of his uniform. He is. And that is uh, Jeff Dorlack and the Halos. This kid's supposed to be really good too. Jordan Walker for St. Louis. Is Yoel T. Cespedes Yoannis' brother? One of those Cespedes is. Are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one, not the other guy. Not the other Cespedes, but Yoel T. Cespedes is the half brother of big league star Yoannis. There you go. There's Freddy Zamora from uh, the U, and he is a brewer. 
and these college kids you'll tend to see you tend to see sooner rather than later in the big leagues one to watch for Milwaukee Matthew Bodner we got a die cut autograph Austin Wells 34 out of 38. And this is, I think, Yankees edition. Yeah, Yankees, Austin Wells. So Matthew Stubblefield on the board, last spot mojo. For the Yanks, 34 out of 38, cool die cut. There's A-Rod, Seattle edition, going to Scott. Hidden Gems autograph, Kyle Hart for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Chris Miller. <laughs> the Yankees do exist in this, Matthew, on the board. And of course, all card chip, majority of them are numbered anyway. There's Nick Swinney for my rivals, the Giants. Thomas R. on the board with the Gigantes. There's Dalton Varsho again, this time with an autograph. Jersey and auto, Dalton Varsho, 246 out of 293. It's kind of a random number. 246 out of 293. Going to Jeff Dorlak and the Snakes. All right, next box. We're getting there, folks. We are getting there. got Cleveland's Logan Allen on card autograph for the tribe Adam Kupperman with the Cleveland Indians I guess they're gonna get a new name soon I'm working on it we got Jimmy uh, Troncoso to 165 for Patrick and the not assigned spot Spencer Strider die cut to 40. And we've got Drew Romo. Drew Romo is a Rocky. But he's in his Team USA gear here. All right, so this catch going to Colorado, Mike Tower. There's Vaughn Grissom. I wonder any relation to Marquise. Remember, you guys remember Marquise Grissom? John McCall, Atlanta Braves. No, it doesn't, doesn't say anything, but I'm sure I feel like they, it would have made the copy. And I'll still go to John McCall and the Braves. There's Freddie Zamora again. I've already forgotten. Oh, no, it says Milwaukee. Oh, this one's his actual 
Milwaukee card, not just his college cards. That's easy. That goes to Matthew Bodner. And there's Aaron Sabato. I do need to look this one up. From UNC. So he went from a Tar Heel, turned into a twin. Minnesota, Dean. Uh, no can do saying, do you remember Grissom from CSI? I do not. Anyone else remember Grissom from CSI? There's Rocket Roger Clemens, Boston. Chris Miller. Victor Vodnik, Braves, John McCall. Different Zion, Zion Bannister here. And Nick Swinney. Sorry, I wonder how many extra hits you'll get selling that Zion card. There's Nick Swinney, again for the Giants. Bryson Stott for the Phillies. To 99, kind of on a heavier card stock there. For Patrick Cologne and the fight in Phils. All right, three boxes to go. I still have what, twenty-four autos to go? A lot. A lot. Oliver confirming, hi Oliver, Oliver confirming no relate, Vaughn Grissom, no relation to Marquise Grissom. This is the guy that's not Ioannis's brother. The other guy is. And here's Andrew Vaughn, who I'm pretty sure is a White Sox. He is. Is that a bit of infield dirt on that? There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of infield dirt right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, game war material. Nice one for Chicago, Arthur King and the White Sox. White Sox have a lot of youngsters. There, there's Keith Ron Moss, Rangers, Travis Knapp. There's Markavian Hence, Cardinals. The stacks are too high now. Move all that over there. We'll do a recap at the end, of course. St. Louis, that'll be for Ryan Yancey. We got a die cut autograph for Patrick Cologne. We got Alrig Soler from Minnesota to 175. Dean Sullivan with Alric. There's Nick Bitsko to 225. Mike with Tampa Bay. Mike G.
And there's Joe Adele for the Angels. Prospect Materials Relic for Jeff and the Halos. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of top loaders in this break. And there'll be a lot of numbered cards that the sorting shipping team will be top loading too. Two out of 10, Matt Scheffler for Seattle. That'll be for Scott. There's Clayton Beater for the Dodgers. Big on card auto there for Brett and Los Angeles. And there's Future Thread Signatures, Jaron Duran Duran to 99, Boston. Chris Miller. All right, two boxes to go. Almost there. Oh, I know. If his name was Rio... That would have been great. Rio Duran Duran. Or maybe if his name was Hungry Like the Wolf. Duran. Die cut to 55 and Rafael Palmero. Was Rafael Palmero originally drafted by the Cubs? Huh. I did not do not remember that. How did he end up? Yeah, he was with the Cubs for two years. So he played college ball at Mississippi State. Blah, blah, blah. He was a teammate of Will Clark. What a lineup there. Um, the two were known as Thunder and Lightning. Clark and Paul Merrow were known, uh, were known to dislike each other, dating back to their time at Mississippi State. So I guess they weren't. And Paul Merrow signed with the Cubs as the 22nd pick in the first round of the 1985 draft. Made his debut with the Cubs in left field, blah, 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 blah. And then after the 88 season, whoa, look at this. I'm glad I looked this up. He had 178 hits, eight home, blah, 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 blah. He was named 1988 MLB All-Star, the first in his career. During that year, rumors spread about a relationship between Rafael Palmero and Ryan Sandberg's wife, Cindy Sandberg. Uh-oh. This led to issues in the locker room, and after the 88 season, Palmero was traded by the Cubs to the Rangers, which is what I think of. Rangers or Orioles what I think of when I think of Palmero. To the Rangers along with Jamie Moyer and Drew Hall in exchange for Mitch Williams. I think that Mitch Williams, right? Wild Thing Mitch Williams? Yeah, that Mitch Williams. Paul Kilgus, Steve Wilson, and Curtis Wilkerson, Luis Benitez, and Pablo Delgado. There you go. Wow, I did not realize all this drama. Blah, 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 blah. Rough season here and there. Um, he was offered a five-year contract worth $26 million after some season in the early 90s, despite the fact he left the Rangers for the Orioles after they re-signed Mississippi State teammate Will Clark. Instead of getting a better deal, they signed Will Clark instead for $30 million in over five years, causing Paul Merritt to call him a lowlife though he apologized later for saying that, 
and they ended up signing with the Orioles instead. Just drama all around for Rafael Palmero. Him and Will Clark intertwined. I think then he went back to the Rangers as a free agent. Then back to the Orioles? What a what a wild career. Cubs for a couple years. Rangers for 89, 90, 91, 92, 93 for five seasons. Another four seasons with the Orioles. Went back to the Rangers, 99, 2000, 2001, for about four years. And then went back to the Orioles for a couple years, and then that's it. There he is. There's your Rafa. Now you know. I, I didn't know, but now you know. And then I think he thought that he was going to be playing until he was 50 years old, and then there was a steroid issue and all that sort of stuff. So There you go. There's uh, Jamari Baylor for Philadelphia. Patrick Colon, we just I need a little break. Right, and don't forget, don't forget the roids, Jeff Dorlax mentioning. Yeah, don't forget the roids. There's Bryce Bonin to 190 for Cincinnati. That'll be for Chris Miller. There's Angel Trinidad to 49. It's going to go to Pat Colon. Yeah, who knew? Paul Mero was a bit of a diva there. He's like, I don't like Will Clark. I don't want to play with him. It makes you wonder what happened with him and Will Clark. Where's the 30 for 30 on that? There's Joey Bart. Prospect materials for the Giants. Thomas R. No worries, Matthew Bodner. I yeah. I was kind of like, I was kind of thinking, what is he up to these days? There's Gus Stiegler for the Reds. Chris Miller. You know another great story I read today? Yeah, he probably, I mean, if, if he's if he's luring Ryan Sandberg's wife to the bedroom, yeah, maybe 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 he maybe he hooked up with Will Clark's girlfriend and Will Clark took exception to that and just never was the same again. There's Casey Schmidt. Casey Schmidt is a giant out of 10 gold. Yeah, maybe maybe it was that mustache. That, maybe that mustache lured, lured in the ladies. There's Terry Crews for Detroit. That'll be for Dean. I think we need a, a 30 for 30, though. We need a 30 for 30 on that. There's Pete Crow Armstrong for the Mets. That'll be for Jason Sadu. There he is. Nice on card autograph. And there's Casey Martin for Philadelphia. Be for Patrick. <laughs> right. John McCall saying Paul Mero's people will be in touch with me. You think John McCall, are you implying that Paul Mero has has uh has silenced everybody who tries to dig into the drama between him and Will Will Clark? Out of 149, there's Spencer Howard jersey auto for Patrick in Philadelphia. All right, last last box. What's up, Steve Sane? Yeah, Paul Mero is pretty good at denying stuff. He has a didn't he point a finger at Congress too? He's saying no, I didn't. Yeah, no, that's true, John. Paul Mero's gonna Paul Paul Mero's people is gonna rub, they're gonna rough me up afterwards. I'm gonna come in with a black eye and like big sunglasses. And be like, what happened, John? I, I fell. I fell down. Hit my eye on a doorknob.
There was a documentary between him and Will Clark. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta dig that up. There's Robert Hassel, uh, four out of fifteen. He's a big prospect for the Padres. That'll be for Josh, Joshua B. Prospect materials, Evan White for Seattle. That's going to go to Scott. I'm running out of top loaders all over the place. We got Brady Lindsay, uh, Lindsley to 221. That's for Washington. That's for Ian. I don't think I've seen a Torkelson in here. I think the, the biggest name I remember is the Heston Kirkstead for the Orioles. I mean, a couple other names. I think Hunter Green's probably some other solid names, but in terms of like. Torkelson level, no. Just the, just the, well, the Heston was it. There's Christian Roa for the Reds. There's Victor Acosta for Patrick in that not assigned spot. There was a Torkelson relic, that's true. Oh, we had a couple Asa Lacy. Here's another one. I think there was an Asa Lacy autograph. I think he's pretty solid. Kansas City, that's going to be for Adam. Car uh, Carson Tucker, not Carlson, but Carson Tucker. Adam, Indians. We got Jake Vogel. Or was, was he an angel? Or was he a Dodger? I think he's a Dodger. Jake Vogel's a Dodger. That's going to go out to Brett. Here's a big one. Zach Veen. That's a pretty good auto. 134 out of 190 for the Rocks. That's going to be for Mike Tower and the Colorado Rockies. There you go, Mike. Henry Ramos, Levi Thomas for San Diego. That'll be for Joshua B. We got infielder Felix Coates. 94 out of 99 for Patrick. I think that's it, unless there's another auto hiding underneath there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. Thanks. I know these are kind of, they're not really in any particular order, but here is a quick recap of our break. Thanks for uh, hanging with me throughout this throughout this break. Appreciate it.
Tanner Hawk for the Red Sox. Learned a lot. We learned things. We learned things. We learned about Rafael Palmero and his his adventures through Major League Baseball. I didn't realize that he had a, a beef with. I didn't realize he had a beef with Will the Thrill, Will Clark. According to the Wikipedia, it doesn't look like Palmero is doing anything post baseball. In his personal life, he says he leave, lives in Colleyville, Texas, with his wife. His son Preston played baseball for North Carolina and was drafted by the Orioles in 2016. For what that's worth, there's the Ace of Lacey. There was that Zach Veen, Jake Vogel Dodgers, the Robert Hassel. Yeah, Paul Merrow might come here talk want, want, might want to talk mustaches. Almost there. There's the Christian Roa it's in his college gear for Cincinnati. Another Ace of Lacey. We're getting closer to the beginning of the break here. That was Angels. There's the Torkelson relic. All right, see you tomorrow, boss man. We got Paul Canerico, Burl Carraway, and a White Sox autograph right here, Jordan Michael. And there you go, boys and girls. That was a kind of a long break, but that was 2020 Panini Elite Extra Edition Baseball, 10 box Ram Team 1. Tons of great prospect hunting here. You know, a lot if you're so if you like prospecting, then you know where to go. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.